Sanbonani ngina mkele kuyi Beyond Boundaries igamu samkelwa ka Khadebe as usual angihambi ngedwa like tsele ngwami mphethu tips shampoo nice my man right yes yes i'm very good what man are you doing? i'm trying to warm up because i'm feeling i'm feeling the moment every time we're doing our show outdoors i feel like i have to do something so welcome to it it's another sunday this is Beyond Boundaries and we are here to make you guys feel good as usual but we are outdoor we're doing yeah, something yeah. we've been through like we've seen we went to lawn balls yes. we went swimming we went football I, today I, I, I went swimming. Sorry, I went sorry, swimming. Sorry. I, yeah, yeah, but I saw you. Watched. I saw you. All right. So anyway, we've done it all. We've been on the track and not so long ago, best Zali Bola for a Mandela Day. Today we are doing a rugby. La a breath rugby club. So Kulma Nendo Tawaibi Zango JP straight on tips. Are you playing today? Uh, are you scared of being tackled? Not really. It's just that these clothes are very clean and then uh, ish, I'm I'm yeah. I might play, I might not play, but today it's all about rugby. So look at it, we're doing it with a twist because every time when there's a sport, we can put an element of disability and be integrative. Good right. words, good words. Yeah. yeah. Now let's shy just like Usomi is in band. Yeah. Integrative. Yeah. So anyway, Utips is going to go and find us a feel good story. Tips, my man, go get us a feel good story. We're playing rugby today. Look at this throw. JP! 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 We're always doing things differently. This is our feel good story because we came all the way to Brett Rugby Club to experience a very, 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 very strong person called JP Stradom. And but we caught up with someone who has been in the journey with him. JP is a single leg amputee and he's playing rugby. But we caught up here with Veli Kutsia who decided to just open up and tell us about his journey with JP. The first time they told us, no, there's a guy with only one leg playing, we thought, no, it's a joke. Yeah. And actually, we didn't even know he had one leg when we played. We asked him, where is he? Because that's how good the leg is designed. And afterwards, they showed us. Oh. Like, OK, that's amazing. And you didn't even you couldn't even see that he's only got one leg. Yes. It's amazing. Can we start on a low note and just take it out? Because we are all about feel good stories yeah. here. Well, if you see JP always, he's always a positive guy. There's, I haven't even seen him once when he's been negative. He's always the guy that brings the team up, lifts us up, he brings a positive side to the team. And with this happening now, um, it's been a big, big setback for all of us because we all want to back on the field, playing with us again. And uh, I remember he told me a story about his sons. He was very negative and he started crying one up because he can't be with us on the field. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he was sitting there crying, his uh, son asked him, Dad, what's wrong? He oh. said, well, I can't play anymore. He said, OK, Dad, but don't worry. You've got two sons now. I can play the game for you. Oh, yes. That's and that a, was, such was a amazing. Positive yeah. But you're saying with what's happening now, what's mm. happening with him? Well, the World Rugby basically stopped him from playing the game because they scared for other players and himself to get hurt. Uh, we know that Good Morning Angels and uh, Morna Stein helped him develop his leg for rugby, actually. So this leg has been in this development and it's been approved and now they just stopped it. And now with the process that's happening, I know that the league wants to actually help him. Yeah, how definitely. Far, how far are we and what have you guys contributed to that? We're basically waiting just for one more letter for approval. Uh, but um, as it stands, you'll even see him today. I, I believe he's with every practice is here with us, even though he's not practicing with us. He's here. Every game is here to support us. It's, yes. And I was just waiting for the one letter. If we get that letter, it's been approved. It's in. So I think we wish him well with all the league happening and we want him back on the field. Definitely. If you didn't hear well, he said he met JP while he was playing against him. So it means like JP was already doing good things. So this is our feel good story, man. Vili, thank you very much. Thanks this is so Beyond Boundaries. It. Let's go and see Valen with the news. I'm going to go and do something positive. <laughs> The 2020 Olympic and Paralympic medal designer Yunichi Kawanishi said the Games were a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Kawanishi is dealing with his sudden fame after the Olympic medals were unveiled to the public on the year-to-go countdown. The graphic designer from Osaka won a nationwide competition to design the medals for the Olympics and Paralympics next year. Hopeful Paralympians got a sneak peek into what they can expect when the medals for the 2020 Games are unveiled later this month. The Olympic medals were unveiled in July. They're 85 mm in diameter and feature the Greek goddess of victory Nike in their design. They're made from recycled metals collected from 6.21 million electronic devices donated across Japan. The Tokyo Paralympic Games will be held from the 25th of August to the 6th of September. 
International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach said that he has never seen an Olympic city so ready as Tokyo. All the newly built and refurbished venues are on track to be completed on schedule. For the Paralympics, 4,350 athletes from more than 160 countries are expected and the Games will also see the introduction of badminton and taekwondo to the program, replacing sailing and seven-a-side football. South Africa, Maskala sends his day Mangazayo. Then you get people who are there to oppose the things that we do. So today in Kuruma, not JP straight home, who's got amazing talent, who's Ali Rabi, but JP is also having some issues because he's hit some ceiling. JP, are you well, buddy? Yes, I'm 100%. I'm 100% well. Fantastic. Now, as we stand here, right, we can't see what is wrong with you. Can you just briefly tell us what your disability is? Um, my, my leg is lower than the amputate. It's off. Yeah. So I got a prosthetic leg. What happened? I was in 2011 on a motorcycle accident. So, but on that stage it was off. They couldn't even help it. Wow. So they was lying next to me even. Oh my goodness. Yes. All right. So then you play rugby, right? We are on a rugby field today. Did you play rugby before the accident? Yes. Before the accident, I was playing for schools because at that stage I was turning 16. Um, I went. I, I was in Freyet in Puni. High school, so I was there in school. When I come to Rustenburg, I started school, then the guys didn't believe me because I was too good. They said, no, show me your ID before you play. Whoa. That shows your age is the same age. Hey, they're suspecting you of soccer age. Yeah, so then I told them, they said, no, I'm 100%, I'm the age. I showed them my ID, that I started playing. I got lay pads, then I was on the lay pads team. The f before the first game, I lose my leg. It was on a Thursday, that Saturday, I was supposed to play the first. Time wow. for the leg pads, yes. That's incredible. So now you lose your leg, you are now uh, a leg amputee. Why did you choose to continue playing rugby? See, for me it's because of my dream, but not just of my dream. There's how many people that has disability who can't, they, they are too afraid because the father was playing big rugby, but he can't because of disability. So I want to show all of them, no matter how hard it is, no matter how big your target is, you can succeed it, but just keep on trying. That's all. You can. It can be hard, it can hit you down, but you can still stand up and carry on with life. Doesn't matter how bad your disability is. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's an incredible story. I mean, we, we know of Paralympians who've uh, gone out to compete at an international stage and they were stopped because they had an apparent advantage. What are the issues that you are facing now as a leg amputee in rugby? You see, I was playing in Leipzig Union. They, in, for five years, I'm registered there. They never stopped me. I come to Bulls rugby. I'm playing here, they registered me, they sent in the papers, I'm playing, they were happy. But then there's, uh, the ref was just a little bit, it was just to make sure his job is right for his side to put a letter, then they stopped me. So yeah, for me to be stopped, it was very bad, I didn't... Yeah, so w when they obviously come back to you and say you can't play anymore, what, what's the real issue for them? Why can't you play against able-bodied um, rugby players? They say that I can injure the people with my leg, my leg can injure them badly. But if you look at, even if you're looking at the behind me now, how they're playing, they can injure in any way. You can get your arm broken by tackling. But I said my leg can injure them more than what they do now. But it's not like you are, you are kicking the ball in the air. You, you play mostly with your, with your hands and mostly with your upper body. So does that even make sense? For me, it doesn't make sense. For me, it's just they like discriminate me. So you're sorry, you can't play. Um, they, they feel like they are putting me, listen, you have one leg, you can't play. They want to stop me from playing. But at the end is, if you kick somebody, you get red card, you're off, same time. But in seven years, nobody was ever had to complain against me that, listen, that guy injured me with his leg or that guy injured me with his shoulder. There was nothing. But on high tackle, on fighting, there was too many injuries, but never injury from my side that my leg injured anyone. All right, so anyway, you are, you are playing rugby. Obviously, you are being stopped anyway, but how, how is that maybe taking away strength or giving strength to you to say that I'm being opposed, but I'm not going to let it stop? How is that influencing you? Um, to be honest, every morning if I wake up, I'm bad. I'm feeling bad. Like now, this morning I wake up. That's why I'm late because I don't want to... I want to be here, but the problem is my heart is broken to come to see that how my, my friends, my family is playing. 
because you know rugby is like family, it's not just our friends. They are playing and they, they are the people who's keeping me until now that we're going to fight. Doesn't matter how long it takes, doesn't matter what, it's, we're going to fight until I win and play again. So um, at, at, at your age, you're still a, a fairly young man. I'm sure you're younger than me. Four years. Yeah, you see, you're a baby, man, compared <laughs> to me. I mean, yes. where, how far do you hope to, to go with rugby? See, my, my, my biggest thing is I want to be the first player who succeed, even if I can just get up to carry cup. Because you see, I'm, I look a little bit fat, but I promise you, I'm practicing a lot. Because remember, I must practice twice as hard to get in a team. For the guy who's got no more legs, he can just run, 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 he's in. For me to get in there, I have to practice twice as hard. So it takes me not two times a week, but four times a week of exercising. So, again, this, this is very baffling for me. But in Afrikaans, because you've already inspired me, and I'm sure everyone at home watching you is already inspired. So you've achieved your goal. But in your home language, in Afrikaans, if you had to have a message for someone who is in a similar position as you, what would you say to them? Om eerlijk te wees, your life will not Your life will on. It can be hard. Your heart can be also, but your life will on. You must go far. That's how hard the path will be. If the path is very difficult, you must be positive. Because to be positive, your life is positive. So just carry on. Don't look at somebody because he's got two legs. That's why he's playing. I'm not playing one leg. Don't look at that side. Look at your side. Why can't you play as well? There's people with, with how can I explain to you? There's people that are very badly injured, but they still do work. But some of the people like me, I want to play rugby, and there's people with two legs, they don't want to play. So it means that we are stronger than disability. We are much stronger than any normal guy. Because for us to wake up, how many powers you have to, you have to pray. You have to believe in yourself, to stand up and say, today, I'm going to finish this day. So a normal guy can just stand up and just live his normal life. For us, we have to work twice as hard. Say, listen, today if I wake up, I'm going to get by this field. I'm going to show them what I can do. Not what I can't, what I can do. Wow. Uh, JP, very powerful. I actually understood most of the Afrikaans, but I mean, this is, this is very important for, for us to understand, right? Um, there's a man with a dream here, and there are rules which actually get in the way of the dream. There are people who are fully able to participate in the sport, but they don't. And someone who has a disability wants it more than they do but he's being stopped by the rules. It is crazy, but what I love is the fact that the disability can never define you. As we say in this show, that the worst form of disability is a negative attitude, and your attitude, my brother, is an amazing one. So this is how we make sure we see warm up for Ama Junior World Championships, Lawa Ayenzega, Switzerland, and Otwil. This is the second leg of Ama World Championships. Now we've got South African athletes who are self-funded. So before Bahamba, we made sure we we catch up with them. This is with our expectations. We're all ready for them. Team South Africa, dotted with world record holders, are expecting a good medal haul in Notwell, Switzerland. The world is waiting to see the next crop of Mzanzi stars. But I have eight and then 200. I have a weapon of sub-23 hardlip. So this is my point for this year. The next year is going to be a good time. I predict that I can say that this year I have to be in the top 23. The juniors is a big deal from a short distance. You can see people, you can now get to the top 5 spring. And then the seniors as well, the competition is a bit tough. And then we spring our masses and then we see how we can do the first spring. My PB so far is 6-5-4. This is my PB and this is also the world record on the dance at the moment. Um, ja, ik, ik zie nog eens uit om, 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 om te beginnen met een nieuwe journey. Ik heb het altijd de 200 en de 100 gedaan. De 100 is nu uit, zo. So, nu begin ik maar met die verspring. En uh, ik zie uit nog eens om die combinatie van die twee goeders te doen. Ja. Die Senior National Championships, of dat is eigenlijk gemeng, maar ik heb die Afrika record gebreken na 1016. En dat was met die 3 kilogram gewicht. Maar bij de Junior Wereld spelen gaan we met die klein gewicht gooien en dat is die 2 kilogram. So, uh, 
My best met him was so far 11 meter iets by the um, I was games in Ireland and I hope I get 14 by. We have not only people in my class that are going to be able to do it. So it is not a medal event, because it is not on the F8 and the F8. So I have not only a competition, so I can do it in other classes. So I think it is mandolin and other other dumb of people, yeah. What my goal is at the end of the day at the event is not just to get there and get on gold medals, but also to to make an example not for myself but for the future generation. I realize that when I'm in the trick, the time is actually the essence. Getting home past seven at night, I have only three hours left to study, so I had to adjust my timetable. Waking up four o'clock in the morning, going for a jog, wake up, go to school. Mm -hmm. At five, six o'clock, I arrive at school. Um, two hours before school starts, I'm actually working, so I can fill in the gap that I lose. And also with this is discipline, attitude, I also adjust my eating habits, my lifestyle, and my friends. And so far, it has been working. It got me to where I am, you know, my dream. Ik wil mijn gezelf gaan genieten en mijn eigen record bereiken om misschien te kwalificeren om de Paralympics Paralympics ja. Ik het ik het de persoon die het beste gaat doen in die in die honderd meter en ik is er om twaalf om zeven zes en ik is bij haar opgewonnen. Ik wil het mezelf gaan genieten en niet zo is om het beste doen en my aim is to go to the My time I would like to run in 400 meters is 54 seconds, but I'm training for it. I'm not there at the moment, but I'm training for it. So next time when you see me, I'm going to be there. So I'm training hard and to go, keep on going. The 100 meters is good, but unfortunately we have to learn how to start. The, be the problem is at the start, so when we start good, we can pace it until the end. So my PB, I would like it to be 11 seconds, uh, comma, maybe 80 or somewhere there, as I need it for this moment. But I will keep on training, work hard, and maybe next time when I wake up, I will see it running that. I'm not sure when, but I'm sure I'm going to get there. In the 200 meters, I would like to open the doors for the, for us in the world record in the world championships. Uh, there is no 200 for us, but here in uh, juniors we have it. So it's a practice for the world for the world. So for this moment, I have it. I will have to fight and keep on fighting so they can open it for us, so we can have a better events when we go there. So my PB for recently is 24.89. My goals, what I wanna. Bring home with me. It's my it's goal, and make my family and the community proud. You know, I'm not I'm done with school. I'm actually now a full time athlete. Um, it's actually quite nice that I'm with my bike to travel and today seeing my coach every day. You know, and yeah. Um, my goals actually is my my distance now so far at nationals was six point something, and I'm trying and I want to increase that, improve that by jumping a meter. I can't even deal any 400 and 200 meter. Ja, as I a paar keer moet uitleggen en zal het mijn bronzen medaille weer op die 200 bij die vorige junior para dat ik bij mijn kampioenschappen in de vierde plek op die 400 en mijn 200 in 400 meter zou ik het. Jong, het is baie moeilijk om te bepaal wat die uitslag van die ding gaan wees, maar ja, ik wil redig net mijn beste gee en net van die met die hele experiens. My PB in Discus is in 29, I want to go over it there and I want to go over it here and the record of my classification break. In gewigs it is it heidig in 9 over the 9 meter, I want to go over it 10 meter stoot, because this is I want to go over the record there too in break. I want to go over it in all two of my items goud, and I work over the last few years so far, but I want to go over it to the first place all the records in break. I was in the um, SA team for the last three years and I broke the records in every event so far. <laughs> um, I just want to do my best, my very, very, very best. So. 
a few people know about Slump Feed and don't understand it. Mm. But I have a very um, good coach. I don't know if you know Karen Leroux, mm -hmm. who was here. Um, so she worked a program at for me and everything. So yeah, it was, she know what, uh, what I can do. And wow. so yeah. Ik het de rare oogsiekte met die naam van Stargards, jou middelvisie is heel te mal blind, so jy het gaat nie een focuspunt nie. Um, ek het verlede jaar, het ek Botswana toe gegaan vir die, ook vir die Junior Youth Games, en ek was baie goed voorbereid, maar ek het soos glad nie soos verwacht dat ek baie goed gaan doen of so nie, ek word net gegaan het vir die experience, en toe verbaas, en toe kom ek toe met die 100 meter tweede, en met die 200 meter eerste, en toe is dit net vir my soos, ek het baie speciaal gevoel. Ek gaan nie met die inzichte om te dink, ek moet wen, of ek moet die, of ek moet daar nie. Ek gaan net om myself tevrede te maak, en dit vir myself te geniet, en ek wil graag my tye verbeter, en ek gaan om vir my Ek voel dit belangrijk as jy vir jouself een inspiratie is en ek wil gaan met die selfdiscipline van wow, ek het iets recht gekry wat baie mense net van droom te doen. Ja. I'm not promising much, but I know that this time I will keep on fighting for the good thing, for the good results. I'm fighting for the rankings, but as well as medals, I have to fight for it so I can be a better contender in the world. <sighs> the things that happen on this show. I... You see, some things I'm crazy and everything, but I'm telling you now, the World Cup Powerlifting Championships are still happening in Nur Sultan. So I think maybe next year I'm going to go. But for now, you guys just check out what's happening in Nur Sultan with people who are really, really tough. For now. Yo. Still the reigning world champion, but her world record is now gone. To get her title back, to get her world record back. A lot for me, I am. 150. Look at that! Look at that! She's got it! She's got it! She's got it! She's got it! World champion again! World record again! 150! And it doesn't get any better than her. So some massive things to come. This is the reigning world record holder from Mongolia, aimed by our Sonnen Peel. For a new world record. Oh, he has smashed it! Absolutely, one and truly! The Asian record has been broken. The world champion, Sayed Hamid Sully Boramanji. Anyways, let's forget the name anyway, show. I don't know if this is warm up or warm down, but anyway, you please just shake a like the lingam. It's been a fantastic show. Ama world champs are gonna be good with the juniors going La Payana, and again the bodybuilders are gonna be killing it, my man. JP Stradom, fantastic yes. young man. Yeah. I started the show with a warm-up and we have to end with a warm-up because I'm I'm fresh too. The whole show I've been fresh. I hope you guys enjoyed a positive Sunday. This is beyond boundaries and we go the beyond the boundaries of doing what we do all the time. Yeah? What a Sunday. <laughs> Where born? Are you serious? It's called a try. And Tipsy scores himself. That is how I guess it works with rugby. But anyway. <laughs> back to much more serious things. Untando Matang we had a message for JP Stradam and this is what he had to say. JP starte, ek denk jy moet opgee nie. Uh, ek denk hierdie is een begin van groot dinge. Ek denk ons moet net meer geleentede oopmaak en dieren gaan oopgemaak word. Hou aan stoot, jy weet, hou aan dat dieren oopskop. Uh, hulle gaan oopmaak met jou. Kom hier sal! JP! 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 JP!